NBA 2K25 is close, and the creators of Winter Community Day, including me, will be able to post tomorrow, August 27th at 11 a.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. Central Time. That's when I will be posting my gameplay, man. So make sure y'all here around that. In the meantime, we're going to talk about some stuff that's getting kind of interesting, man. Zach Timmerman says, in my career, you'll start with bronze bats. If you have rebirth, you'll start with silver. In both cases, you'll need to meet attribute requirements to use the badge. And then Ronnie says, come see me for them in-game silver badges. But hold on. Zach also goes and drops another one. He said this. Also, Rebirth works a bit differently in 2K25. Your initial max overall with Rebirth will equal to the highest overall you previously reached. Anything 90 and up. So this means if you get a build to 99, the original build, I believe this is saying you'll be able to have your other bills 99 so every rebirth bill after that will automatically have access to the highest tier that your first build is so if your first build is 99 guess what all your bills after that can be 99 so you no longer have to regrind so you, you everybody can walk around with a 99 build now How you feel about that you know a lot of credit everybody's responding to it you know grinding says no more having to grind multiple builds to 99 thank you solo says fire yeah man says so this means progression to build is harder mm, that's a good question but still a huge w i'm not making a build until i got 95 to 99 overall on the first build then zach honestly my favorite 2k news so far power df this is huge so you only need to grind overall once now so basically this is a big w you only have to grind once and you get all your bills to max the overall 99 which is insane because now it's a big deal because you only got to grind that joint one time go go in my career go hard try hard if you do you know and then you can make it a nine offer now this some people are gonna look at the other way they you know what they're gonna say oh word they want more money because they know if you spend it to 99 technically you make more money on the vc so i mean it, 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 there's two ends of that spectrum so yes that is true they probably if you have access to making a bunch of 99s off rip majority of people are just gonna upgrade to 99 instead of 90 like your previous was so that is true so a lot of people will be walking around with 99 bills so all you people that got the 92 and under yeah i think that's gonna go down a little bit because now it ain't you doing it on purpose <laughs> now you're going 92 under wreck on purpose and i wonder if they're gonna get rid of that too another thing zach said he said the key to dribbling build makers to remember acceleration is gone agility is in however agility is off ball movement only if you want to speed quickness and move with the ball it's all in speed of ball and ball handle attributes it should be noted that strength is important for dribbler too if you want to win physical body up interactions i saw the builder and interesting you even see right here man we overstocking zach tweets man because I'm, I'm behind he like the cap breakers and max one stacked in so cap breakers let's say you got a plus five in attribute which you can take to go to Hall of Fame. And then you have Max 1 applied to that new badge level to reach a new legend badge. Please respond. And he said, yes, you can. So, yes, you can stack the Max 1 thing. But Max 1 thing is only season, though. So you only can do it for a season. In order to keep it going, you have to keep, you know what I'm saying, you got to keep doing it. That's a season perk. Never forget that. And he says it right here. Common question around the Max 1 perk is that whether or not above your potential. Yes, it was made for that. So if your potential max out of gold... Max one will take you to Hall of Fame. But if we read in the report, this is a season reward, which means you will have to redo it every single time. Just just a heads up. Next thing, somebody exact. One thing I'm worried about is that centers and the tour is known to be easier to grind in 99. So people probably are gonna take advantage and make a center build to grind it at 99 at the beginning and then upgrade the rest of their bills straight to 99 with rebirth Zach says we put a lot of work to trying to even out my points progression some modes might naturally help one position over another but in general it should be much tighter he said w zach so dang yeah hey i was thinking about that too low key i was literally thinking about what if i made a big dummy played wreck with it got him to a 99 fast and then <laughs> make all my bill. i was thinking the same thing but look like they already on it, man. He already on it. Now, Zach, if you don't know, Zach is basically the Mike Wang for builds and stuff like that. So he he, he like over that. So that's the, Mike Wang is gameplay. Zach is build and build related things. So that's like the differences between the two. But in other news, 
we're going to get park gameplay this week according to this schedule. They said the week of the 26th, we're going to get the NBA 2K25 city. Now, I was at Community Day and we did not see the city. They didn't tell us nothing about the city. I have no inside info for the city. No one does. No one knows anything about the city. So, when that city gets revealed, don't attack me saying, you, you did this. You know, y'all like blaming people with Community Day like we had. Like, like I, I was literally told them, yeah, yeah, add that in the game. I, nah, bro. But when it's released, I'm going to be just as shocked. Yeah, we will be on Twitch. You know, I'll be streaming on Twitch. We're going to be growing a lot on Twitch. I haven't streamed the last week or so. I've been busy, as you know, Community Day and all that. But we will be back hardcore tomorrow. We're going to be back live starting tomorrow, reacting to everything, everybody's videos, including my own. And I got gameplay that we can talk about, too, you know, that I can actually show now. But because we're releasing gameplay tomorrow... And then we're releasing the Builder Wednesday. I can almost guarantee money. I could put money on it. That Thursday, we knowing what park it is. They're going to do a live stream, Stacks and Evan. They're going to tell us exactly what happened Thursday. Be curious on how this park is, but we will get a park chair Thursday. I'm putting money on Now, it ain't guaranteed, but I'm pretty sure. There's no way we don't get it Thursday. They, they normally do Tuesday or Thursday. And it's looking like it's about to be Thursday because it just makes the most sense. So next, I'm going to show you a video of the cover athletes. They had a little thing to say about being a cover athlete and their accomplishment of being a cover athlete. Let me show you what they said. The cover at NBA 2K is a milestone. It's something that every kid growing up dreams about. It's unreal. JT and I go way back since we were young. So to be here and just seeing our careers and how much we flourished, it's been tons of fun. I can't wait for everybody to go get their copies. The first dual cover is us too. You already know what it is. It's truly an honor. I have a young son and a daughter that's in college to be on the cover while she's in college and he's growing up. Pretty cool situation. It gives me dad points. What's up, guys? It's SGA here. We're on set shooting the commercial for NBA 2K25. Having a blast. Hope you guys enjoy it. It was super cool for me to grow up playing the game and then now be able to come on the other side of it and kind of see how it's made. You don't know the magic that's happening behind the game, but I got a behind the scenes look. If y'all need me on the cover at any time, I'm your girl. Hey, why Shay look like he don't want to be there? He's like, bruh, come on, man. Yeah, you can tell he he working. You can tell he at work. Huh, he got that look we look when we at work, you know what I'm saying? When we working, he just, he just got that, huh, here we go. You know, <laughs> y'all y'all can relate to him right now. This is this is something he don't really, he look like he don't care about. Everybody else all, yay! And he like, what's good, y'all? Yeah, you know, you know. We in here doing my little thing. And finally, NBA 2K25 dropped their top 10. They got Anthony Davis, number 10, 94 overall. They got Kevin Durant, number 9. Okay, okay, 94 overall. They got Jason Tatum, number 8, 95 overall. They got Steph Curry, the seventh best player. Wow, 95 overall. Nice, nice. They got Bron, the GOAT Bron, number 6. Still number six at 40 some years old. That's crazy. 95 overall. Joel Embiid, the fifth highest player. 96 overall. They got Shea. 96 overall. Giannis, the third highest. 97 overall. Luca, the second. Oh, and you already know who number one is. If Luca number second, 91, then number one must be Jokic. Jokic is the highest rated player in NBA 2K. W Nuggets because Westbrook on the team. And we need that ring. But hopefully y'all enjoyed the video, man. Leave a like, sub, and you remember tomorrow we got the gameplay dropping. Make sure you here to the next video. I'll see y'all then, man. Peace.